Mike Zeno Ministries presents Called to Victory. Now here are your hosts, the senior pastors of Glory and Peace Church International, Pastors Mike and Maria Efezino. Hello there. Thank God for a wonderful day. A day that the Lord God Almighty has made for you and I to rejoice and be glad. Welcome to the Call to Victory broadcast. Today we are going to be discussing the subject of healing. We believe that God has a divine plan and objective concerning healing as it refers to you and to me. The Word of God says, by the stripes that Jesus Christ bore, we are, and it says in Peter, we were healed. This is a foregone conclusion. But the reality is that most of us as believers are still very sick. Well, we may blame it on what we eat and lack of exercise and all of that, and that may be true, absolutely true. But the reality is still true that the Word of God says that by the stripes of Jesus, we are to walk in divine health. Why is that not happening? Is the Word of God true or isn't it? Well, you know the answer to that. The Word of God is true. Let the Word of God and God be true and let man be the one that lies. Today we're going to discuss this subject and we believe in God to release the virtue of healing for everyone that needs to be healed today. Mm -hmm. Whatever that healing need is. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Pastor Maria, how are you doing? I'm blessed and highly favored. Oh, praise God. And you? I'm blessed and highly favored too. Amen. I know you're also blessed and highly favored of God. Welcome to Call to Victory. May God grant you victory in your health. Amen. Amen. Praise God. <clears throat> the Word of God says in, in 3 John, the very first, um, the second verse, he says, John is writing to a man, a disciple called Gaius, and he says, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. And therein, I believe, is a secret to everything we're going to be discussing in the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. Prosper, be in health, even as your soul prospers. As your soul prospers, so will your health prosper. Yeah. So will your finances and everything else that you want to see prosper, prosper. Jesus, <coughs> who inspired the word of God, speaking to Joshua, says you need to meditate on the word of God. And when you meditate on the word of God, you will make your way prosperous. prosperous yes. And you will have good success. Yeah. So there's something that we have to do when it comes to the subject of healing. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to discuss that mm -hmm. and see how the Word of God leads us in this. Yes. Third John 1, uh, there's only one chapter in Third John. Yeah. 1 verse 2, it says, Beloved, I wish above all things. Above all things. Above all things that you prosper. But not just the prosper of the prosperity that comes with your soul prosperity. That's right. So if your soul is prosperous, your health will be prosperous. Amen. Your finance will be prosperous. So Amen. So what does that mean then? That means uh, your healing first starts in your soul. Yes. Yeah. So uh, the Psalm 23, David says, the Lord is my shepherd. Mm. You know, we all know that Psalm. But there's a part there that it says he restored my, my soul. soul. So the soul must be restored. I believe today God's going to restore our soul. Yes. going to restore your soul. And uh, for healing to take place, the word has to go pass through your soul, which is your intellect, your emotions, your thoughts, and uh, your words. So we now ask God to visit us today Hallelujah. and visit you at your home. I believe a lot of people are going to be healed yes. as they hear this word. Amen. The Bible says he sent his word and he healed them of all their diseases and delivered them from their trouble. As you hear this word of God, the word is now being sent to your home. Yes. There's going to be a change. 
Change has come to your home. Change has come for your body. Your soul is starting its prosperity now. Amen. 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 I'm excited about what God is going to do. You know, <clears throat> this morning um, I was in the in the kitchen doing something, um, and the Lord spoke to me. He said to me, he said, son, there is a woman that has been barren for seven years, been married seven years, and you have been wanting a child, and um, you've not had that child. Your change has come today. And, and when I thought that was the end of it, mm -hmm. he said, son, this message that is being preached today mm -hmm. is going to be heard many times over, mm -hmm. and somebody else 14 years from now, 15 years from now, is going to hear that same message, and they will have been in that seven-year mark. Mm. And they are still going to get the same healing. That word will be relevant for them at that time. So what we are going to be saying today is going to be going through time, and everyone that receives it is going to experience their miracle. Amen, because the word of God never dies. No. Anytime you're ready for it, you reach for it, it work for you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So, yeah. Well, in Matthew chapter 4, if we look there, in Matthew chapter 4, the 23rd verse, mm -hmm. it says, And Jesus went about all Galilee. Mm -hmm. and this is the first thing it, it says to us, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people first thing the lord did was that he was teaching mm -hmm. preaching about the kingdom mm -hmm. and then was healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease mm -hmm. among the people yes. when the word of god when the, the when the lord jesus christ comes and teaches us mm -hmm. and preaches the kingdom to us this is one of the things he does he heals every manner of sickness, no matter how complex or complicated that sickness is, and all manner of disease among the people. You are among the people today Amen. that the Lord is coming to. Amen. And his word is going to bring that healing to you. Amen. He's interested in your healing and your deliverance. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, there's good news today for anyone who's sick. They can receive this word. Yes. Amen. Uh, Matthew 9, verse um, 35, say, And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. So somebody might say, well, he just went about um, in Galilee doing it, but it's not limited to one city. He went to different cities. Praise mm. the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> so any city you are today, you're qualified to receive. Because uh, the first God. scripture we read say he, he, in Galilee. Yes. But then Jesus did not just stop in one city. So you can't say he just only loved the people of Galilee. He loved every city. The uh, Matthew 9:35, and Jesus went about all the cities and villages. So if you live in a hamlet today, you live in a remote area. Say, so can this word get to you there? Yes, it can. Mm -hmm. Teaching in their synagogues. Well, we're not in the synagogue right now. Yeah, we're ministering from a, from a ministry point. But the word is coming to you where you are. The meeting place where people met. Now with technology, we cannot get to you. At your home. That's right. Praise the Lord. So you're being taught right now about the <coughs> word of God. So try to go write down the scriptures and then say, oh, I'm qualified because he, this word is sent to, to cities, to villages. So wherever I am, this word is for me now. Hallelujah. You see, I'm preaching the gospel of the kingdom. What's the gospel of the kingdom? The gospel of the kingdom of God. Of king, of king, He's a king that has dominion over a realm and the realm he has is the whole universe the whole world every dimension every created thing and uncreated every visible and invisible world 
he has dominion over all of it. And he preached the good news that the kingdom of God has come. Light has come to invade darkness. Praise the Lord. And healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Whatever your sickness is today is qualified. Every sickness, every disease. So if it's arthritis, qualified for healing. Amen. Praise the Lord. If it is an uh, uh, incurable disease, if it's AIDS, qualified for healing. If it's tuberculosis, qualified. If it's throwing up, speaking about throwing up, when we just when we're praying to start this program, I saw someone, you know, I saw you in the spirit, and you know, I saw you just, uh, you've been throwing up, like just throwing up, vomiting constantly, like volumes, you know, just coming out of you nonstop. Uh, I've already sent the word to you, so I speak your total healing and Amen. deliverance that that vomit stops right now in the name of Jesus. Be free, you demon of vomit. Get out of there and be free. Let that person go and in Jesus' name. And if you're that person, we'd we'll love to hear from you. Hallelujah. God is good. Amen. Amen. You know, you know. sometimes people may think, well, that was Jesus. Um, but the, the reality is, that the same grace mm -hmm. that he operated by, he has transferred to his sons yes. and his daughters, yeah. to his disciples in the biblical days and times, but even till this very moment. Mm -hmm. In the Gospel of Luke 9, mm -hmm. he says, then he called his 12 disciples together, mm -hmm. verse one, and gave them power and authority he gave them power and authority over all devils. Not just some devils, all devils, mm -hmm. all demonic forces. He gave them power and authority. The power, the might, mm -hmm. the dynamic grace to accomplish purpose and the authority, the backing of the kingdom of God that license them to have authority over all devils and to cure diseases. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God. Have you noticed that everything we've been talking about again and again keeps on talking about the kingdom of God? Mm. So if when, when sickness is operational in our lives, we may conclude that we are not operating on the, the kingdom of God because the kingdom of God does not cohabit with sickness and disease. Mm -hmm. You say, Bishop, that's a little bit hard to, to swallow. Well, that's the truth anyhow, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> even though our experiences do not line up with the Word of God, that does not make the Word of God of none effect. We need to line up with the Word of God Amen. and call a spade a spade. Listen, sickness, disease, I am part of the kingdom of God, and you cannot reign or have influence or control over my life. Amen. He says he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Preach the kingdom of God, heal the sick. Mm -hmm. Preach the kingdom of God, heal the sick. Yes. And he said unto them, take nothing for your journey, neither staves nor scrip, neither bread, neither money, neither mm -hmm. have two coats, and so on and so forth. And, and whatever house you enter into, there abide, and then depart. And whatsoever will, and, and whosoever will not receive you, mm -hmm. when you go out of that city, shake off the very dust from your feet for a testament against them. And then it says this, and they departed and went through the towns, preaching the gospel and healing every where Amen. hallelujah praise god they praise god went and they did what they are called to do that's right you know as ministers of the gospel today we carry the same mandate mm -hmm. power and authority has been given yes he authorized them you know um people say well those disciples are dead and gone long time ago remember the word of god never dies no once that authority was given to man, is for all mankind. Just like one man sin, all sin. Mm -hmm. One man was uh, died for all of us, that we will, uh, who, uh, that the power of sin will be broken, power of death is broken. That's Jesus, 
one man became righteous and he gave us that righteousness. So we all became righteous. When he passed this power of authority to his disciples, whoever is preaching the gospel today is being authorized to use this same power. Amen. That's right. He said he and he called his twelve and look look uh, nine right. verse one. He said he called. They didn't beg for it. He said then he, Jesus, called his twelve disciples together and gave them power. So it's a gift. The word they gave, he gave it to them. Power and authority over all devils. Yes. And to cure diseases all so diseases. all sickness all devils all diseases power has been given over them over all so all devils means all devils there are some cases that you're not going to find a problem in a test tube you're not going to find what uh is wrong with the person it means there's a demonic activity uh, involved and the power of god what power when you preach the gospel of the good news, you say the power of God has come to invade. You move now out of this person mm. and be gone. You know, that's it. They're gone. That's the power because that power is in you. And when you speak the word of life, people have seen this work so many times, eh? whether here, even in Winnipeg, whether outside Winnipeg, even over the phone, deliverance and healing taking place yes. by the pronunciation of, of the kingdom of God by the word of God because there's to no the person's distance. life. There's no distance. No distance in the spirit. No. Yeah. There's no distance. Yeah. There's no border. No. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, <coughs> the borders that physical men put, border. The borders that men put mm -hmm. are artificial. Yeah. Even birds know that. Yeah. Birds yeah. don't don't they have. Uh, they don't visa need passport and, and visa passports. to go to any you country. Know, they cross. <laughs> they want to cross to. That's right. Uh, so <laughs> also is the word of God. The yeah. word of God crosses to you right yes, now. Yes. Crosses where you to are. any mountains, oceans, anywhere it get to you. That's right. You just open up your heart and receive it. Power has been given. That power is released to your home. When we s declare you free, you're free. Amen. Amen. You know, verse 11 of, of Luke 9 says, mm -hmm. And the people, when they knew it, mm -hmm. followed him. Yes. And he received them and spake unto them of the kingdom of God. Yeah. He spake to them of, of the kingdom of God. Yes. And healed them that had need of healing. That's right. You know. So healing to take place, you need the word. That's right. The word must go forth. The healing... And rise, say the son of righteousness, which we rise with healing his in way. his wings. You know, the word has to come and then healing rides on that That's right. and straight to the person. As you're receiving the word of God, healing comes with it. Amen. Amen. It's a package. It That's comes. That's right. You know, uh, as we've traveled uh, uh, the nations pronouncing the, the word of the kingdom, Many times I, I begin um, by, by simply saying, are there any ones here that are sick that need eye healing? And, um, you know, the hands will, you know, of people that have different ailments will, will, will be raised up. Mm -hmm. And I will say to them, I said, don't expect me to come lay hands on you. Mm -hmm. But while I am preaching this word, I expect that you will not remain sick, that this sickness will leave you and be evicted out of your system mm. and sure enough when the the service is concluded i ask the question how many of you that raised your hand that were sick <laughs> still are still sick and well it used to amaze me before but uh, no longer now i don't see any hands up i said where are the people that were sick uh, are you still sick? No, the pain is gone. I believe I've received it. And, you know, God is still the same God. Yeah. We, we've been pastoring now 37 years. Yeah. And, uh, and this is not an indictment to anybody, or this is not an arrogant statement. But after pastoring for 37 years, you'll expect that you would have had so many funerals from your church members. But that's not the case, no. because God and we have, is we the have healing God. We have seniors here, and we have seniors. <laughs> we have nineties, eighties. We don't you have a hundred yet, but we're getting close to that. So praise the Lord. Hallelujah! You know the word works. The word works. The word works. You need to. Um, you just um, 
Luke 9, 11 says, And the people, when they knew it, followed him, and he received them. Once you know, And he spoke unto them of the kingdom of God. Once you receive the word of God, it will work for anyone. Yes. doesn't matter what background you come from. It doesn't matter how critical uh, your situation is, how desperate your situation is, God will show up. Sometimes people get instant healing. Sometimes it takes a process of, t- of time. But either way, deliverance is coming. You just hang in there and you hold on to the word of God. Now, why does the healing come instantly and sometimes not instantly? Well, I am not the healer. I am an agent of the one that heals. You just speak that word. Now, we don't know all that is involved. But when you hold on and you take that word of God, it works. This same word is still healing the sick today, Mm -hmm. delivering people, setting the captives free. The word is still raising the dead today. That's right. And making the impossible situation to become possible. You had a situation recently where uh, a young man, um, through certain situations, got himself in a state that, went com- uh, comatose yes yes and and you got a call mm-hmm. i was um, at that time i believe i was in the philippines yes or indonesia or somewhere you were way in, asia, yeah. in asia mm-hmm. uh, and and you you actually said to the person who called mm-hmm. uh, a person who didn't really wasn't working with god either he said listen i'm going to pray for you yeah. and i i want you to Go to this young man, mm-hmm. and I want you to put your hands on him, mm-hmm. because God's hands are on mine, and mine is going to be on yours when you place it on this on this young man. Yes. And we are going to cause this man, this young man, to come back to life. Yes, right. Yes, and 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 yeah. the young man. I just I just ask I are you willing to receive the love of God? Mm. Because God is not condemning you at your state right now. That's right. Would you receive his love? You know, God had to calm down. And then she, yeah, she accepted the love of God. And I said, well, you just promoted, you know, would you ask him to come in? You have to invite him in so that you can uh, carry this healing yeah. virtue to the, the other person because you love this person so mm. much. And they say, yes. I said, then God loves you. So, you are not promoted. Wow. Now, God's hand is on my hand, and my hand is going to be on you because there's no distance in the spirit. Mm. And that was a simple word. Go put it on. And did God do what he needs to do? Yes, he did. They won a little tear. They two, a little uh, eye opening. They three, hands and feet moving from coma state. Wow. You know, and now talking. In less than a week, God revived and did everything. So I was never in the person's room. I was never there. All this was done by phone. <laughs> so God, the power of God, God can touch you today. Wherever you are, just say me too. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That is what God wants to do right now in your life. There is no distance. God is well able. He sent his word and he healed them of all of their diseases and delivered them from all of their afflictions. That is happening to you right now. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. God's healing is available to everyone, but how do you access it? What stops it from coming to you? In the four CD healing series, Apostle Mike and Maria Efezino answer many of those questions. Each program is packed full of the Word, giving you tools that will enable you to walk in to find help. To order, call the number below. You don't have to live in sickness any longer. Isn't it wonderful that we can explore the Word of God together and understand this very simple fact that God is faithful, yes. that God loves you, God wants the very best for you. As we continue discussing this subject of healing, we don't want just to talk about the facts of healing mm-hmm. or deal with it from a historical perspective. 
No, we want you to experience your healing Amen. blessings right now. It's a gift. It's a gift. Healing is a gift. Yes. Hallelujah. And we are delivering your package to you right now. Mm -hmm. If you will open that package right this very moment and digest that which God is releasing into your life right now, you will receive supernaturally your healing Amen. because he has given us the power to pronounce and to decree and to command by the authority of his everlasting word your healing will you receive it right now in the name of jesus christ Amen. you've powers of darkness that have attacked that have robbed and stripped god's people of divine health and caused them to be in a state of disease today we declare judgment the judgment of god upon you Amen. and we declare that you lose your hold off of, of these jesus. men off of these women of god whatever accusations you have against them we have come to declare this day that they are part of the king kingdom Amen. of God and you have no authority here in the name of Jesus diabetes loose your hold Amen. in the name of Jesus high blood pressure loose your hold in the name, in of, the name Jesus. of Jesus cancer loose your hold by the authority of the word of God I command you in Jesus name loose your hold now and let the people of God go free Amen. if you receive this even if I do not call your particular sickness don't give royalty to it it is not that special Jesus has come to heal you and he has healed you already yes. receive it and declare with a big shout hallelujah, hallelujah. I am healed, I am healed. Hallelujah. hallelujah praise God amen. amen well if you do not know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior why don't you just pray this prayer with us right now? Lord Jesus, I receive you now as my Lord and my Savior. Forgive me every sin. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I believe in you. Amen and amen. God bless you. We love you. To receive a CD of today's program, send $10 to Mike Zeno Ministries, Post Office Box 3990, Winnipeg, Manitoba, R2W5H9. To order by Visa or MasterCard, call 204-582-6795. Request the program number on your screen. Thank you for watching Called to Victory with your hosts, Pastors Mike and Maria Afazino. This is a viewer-supported program. Thank you for your financial gifts. Call, write, or follow us online. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or watch us on our YouTube channel. This has been a Mike Zeno Ministries presentation.